guys um, today we're gonna be doing bottom steel we're doing bottom steel and um this is my print so right from here i'll take you to the field to learn how to 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 do it practically so actually this is my level one this is my level level p1 all right so yeah so first of all these are the things you look out for uh, all this stuff you see here all this stuff you see here are my columns so i have those coming up for my columns yeah <clears throat> and this thing you see here you have to also look out for this it says sr3 a6 so these are my th that is stack reels so you look out for stack reels too right so first of all before you do that you make sure your stack reels how many stack reels do i have i have about i have one here two Three, Pops, you have like a, uh, four, you got like an old paintbrush that you don't use and a little brush? Five, yeah. six, yeah. and then seven. Yeah. So first of all, you make sure your stagrades are in there uh, before you start anything else. Yeah, yeah it's your priority. And then when you look, when you flip on this side, tells you it tells you right here that your slab so this this is a 10 inch slab and then they're, they're reinforcing that you have 15 m at 15 inches each way that's the bottom and it should be staggered lap staggered laps 24 so they they your lap should be two feet that's 24 inches plus extras plus extras extra reinforcing noted on the plan so, so so basically uh this thing you see is my top steel i run all the columns it's our top steel but we do that another day today we're gonna focus, gonna focus on the bottom steel yeah so to 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 notice your your extras you can see it here see is joe not here right now ah, yeah, this, these are your extras and they are 20 m and you see where the arrow goes the arrow goes right from here all the way all the way down here Okay, talk to me later. Okay. Yeah, so that that that's the extra. This is twenty m twenty foot twenty one foot at thirty inches. So after you lay and then first of all you, you also have to notice how you're gonna lay your, your bars, right? Uh tells you here. So wait wait, you see the dotted ones? I uh the the bottom still and the solid lines here zigzag here they are your your top steel right so it tells you how it, how you want your bus to be laid so this right here is your knot the, the knot the knot of the building right so <coughs> those are the things you look out for you look out for those things so it tells you you want your upper layer upper bottom upper, upper bottom layer facing the north that is not not to south not to south and then he wants your uh, lower layer bottom that that would, that would be good from east to west okay so yeah basically this all oh, it is it, you need to know before you start anything so we let's go let's go on the field and I'll show you practically how it's done. Right? Okay. Yo, guys, this is how bottom steel is made. 
like I show you from the print, this is the practical aspect of it. So these are my stack wheels. You see this column as I showed you on the drawing. Gotta get a stack wheel. So first of all, I made them put a stack wheel on that. Then when you look far at the far corner, too, we have a stack wheel there. And, and over there too. There is a the stack wheel. And I think I have my last one on that side. So those are the things you look at for first and make sure they are in before you do your 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 your, your bottom steel. So first of all, as I show you on the, on the print, you want your bottom upper layer running to the north and not not to south. So when you look over here, my I, the slab is 15 inches slab. So I did my berry bar running from north north to south. And then from east to west is my bottom bottom lower lower layer. Right? So I actually if you, if you look at this I mark my my slab at 61 inches. So this one, this 61 inches, this 61 inches, we're gonna put uh, three three bars in between. In between making 15 inches each square right so like to make your work go faster you don't have to mark every 15 inches you can just put up your frame your frame maps at every 61 at every 61 so after after this when you are crossing it off when you are crossing it off you put three in between yeah. you eyeball it make make the space even Make the spacing even and you are rolling and then off off you go so yeah now I'm, I'm, I, have all, I have all my my berry bars in I have all my berry bars in so I'm running my bottom lower layer from east to west and then after after my bottom lower layer is done I have to run to to the print go back to the print and make sure if I have any extra running east to west and then I put it in before I temp, temp it. That is, I cross it off from north to south. And then my bottom still is done. Guys, check out my next video for all my extras and temperature bars. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more educative videos. Also, let's get interactive. Thank you. Boom.